Hey guys, it's Zenas right here. Today I have a video for you doing a uh, pretty, pretty nice uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial. We're going to be showing you how to uh, get a logo to stay in your video, basically identify what your video is. For example, if you're watching a video other than on, say, YouTube, um, for example, if you were to watch it on your own website or a different website other than YouTube, uh, this would basically tell everyone who's watching it who you are in the case that you want to uh, make your logo your name. So if your logo is this, this is my logo for me. Um, it's essentially just this, Dean is or written. And if I put that in the video, uh, which will be this in this example, this is going to be a Modern Warfare 3 video. If I put that in this video, people know that the video is instantly created by Dinosaur. So if I don't have that logo in there, uh, I could say that the video is not mine. So if it is there, I can say I have all rights to it. Which basically is uh, a really, really simple thing to do. Uh, a lot of, of you guys are probably wondering how a bunch of the big YouTubers do it. Uh, maybe TLD today. Some of you guys may be wondering how he does it. He has that dinner and lunch and that thing in the bottom right corner whatever that is but um, he has that in the bottom right corner so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now this is assuming you have your own logo and uh, creating your own logo does not take that much effort and there are guys on YouTube that are good with VFX Photoshop After Effects and all that stuff as you can probably tell I have After Effects down here in the bottom of my uh, dock right here AE but I'm not too good at it I just know how to make some basic stuff uh, you can also do this in After Effects but that might be a later tutorial this one's just gonna be for Sony Vegas because it's a software that most people have uh, it's a more common software than uh, After Effects as far as how many people actually have it and uh, not well most people have uh, Sony Vegas at least the ones that are on YouTube a lot of people have it not as many have After Effects so that's why I'm doing a Sony Vegas Pro 11 so here you see I have the logo now you can probably tell it's in the center of the screen it's huge and it is not working that well in the center of the screen It's just blocking the screen so the first thing we want to do is because you're gonna want this to last the whole video or a portion of the video depending on what you want it to last you're gonna drag this all the way to the end of your timeline where your video footage ends and then you're gonna go over here into a vet pan crop click that and then you're going to drag out to make it smaller. Now this is what it's doing is it's taking like the camera and uh, making it kind of zoom out and when it's doing that it's making everything smaller except for the footage. It's making the logo smaller but keeping the footage the same because you're only selecting the logo. So you want to make it to the proper uh, size you want. I'd say this is about good. Uh, now this also depends on the video you're doing. In Modern Warfare 3 videos, gaming videos, Putting it in the top right corner is pretty good. It's a good solid choice because it is uh, mainly nothing happens in the in the top right corner. Uh, usually all the stuff is happening in top top left, bottom left, and bottom right. So nothing really happens in the top right. So that's where I keep it. Now, if you're doing a uh, regular video of yourself filming yourself, uh, say having a tripod in front of you five feet away and you're filming yourself you might want to keep the logo in the bottom right or the bottom left because that's not where it's going to be distracting so you don't want the logo to be distracting you just want it to be there so people know what it's about so if your logo is distracting it's defeating the purpose of being a logo and just being there it's kind of taking on its own role and you don't really want it to do that you want it to just stay there and be kind of passive so that's what I'm doing here so we're gonna exit out of this because it looks pretty good we go over here and we go to track motion now you can move this around I'll go ahead and get this out of the way a little bit but you can move this around essentially so uh, the center point is obviously the Y X that's black and then this is where your logo is so you're moving it around and this is a gaming video so I think it looks best in gaming videos like this so uh, I'm going to lower the volume and then I'm going to play you the clip and it looks kind of good a little bit uh, washed out in the darker areas um, but essentially it's working pretty good now there's no problem with it it's pretty fine I have to say um, now this is obviously a very simple logo not everyone's gonna have something like this and you probably wanna have an array of logos you might wanna have some specific logos for different types of videos uh, I have around five logos that um, 
Subflexius, uh, one of my uh, good VFX guys on YouTube. He made me a couple of uh, logos. So I have an array of logos, different colors, different all that stuff. Uh, different ones for different situations. Couple can be for gaming. Couple can be for uh, just regular videos where I'm in front of the uh, tripod. Others can be in different situations. So really, you can have this. You can uh, create yourself a whole stock of logos that you can use for almost anything. And that's what I basically did. Uh, I have enough logos to last me a lot of videos so that people don't get bored and so that the, lot, the logos are clear. That's what I'm basically doing here. So um, that's what I just had to say about the logos. Now, if you want to rotate this, you're just going to bring your mouse over the circle and you're going to see it flash blue and then the mouse is going to change to a little rotation symbol. So you can take that and rotate it in any direction as you can probably see. So uh, rotating it is uh, pretty simple and self-explanatory. You just tilt it in the direction you want and it will tilt. Now, uh, I, something I recommend for people that are going to be doing videos where they are physically in front of the uh, camera, in front of a tripod, and they're just talking to the camera, this is a good configuration. Having it like this, you can have the logo at a horizontal axis on the bottom right, which looks pretty good if you put it into a video like that. It actually isn't bad right here, except for the fact that it's covering all my kill streaks and it's covering my ammo and grenades and all that. So it's not too good in Modern Warfare 3, but it does work in other gamings. Um, so it might work in other games, specifically not this one, but it can work in other games. So that's basically all the video is about. Um, not only is the gaming video coming to a close in this one, uh, but also this video is coming to a close. No pun intended. I don't even know if that was a pun, but anyway. So that's basically what it is. Uh, it's fairly simple, I have to say. Um, it's not too hard. If you have uh, Sony Vegas, you'll be able to do this. It's uh, pretty simple. Once again, I recommend you guys go either make your own logo in Photoshop or you ask someone to make it for you that has experience. I did both. I tried to create one in Photoshop and it sucked, so I decided to ask my uh, my guy uh, Flexius, Subflexius on YouTube. Uh, he can make some awesome stuff, so that's why I asked him and it worked really nice. So that's what you do basically. It's all you really need to do. It will make your videos look a lot better and give them a lot more personality because you're now going to have your own logo. So if you can easily tell, the logo stays there the whole time. It's easy to read in this gaming video in uh, Village right now in Modern Warfare 3. It's pretty easy to read right now at this point in time. Once again, you can make your own logos and you might want to have different ones for different situations. So that's uh, basically it. I'm probably going to be doing more of these Sony Vegas tutorials uh, coming soon. And uh, that's basically it. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my latest videos. And um, 